Death Talk, episode 24. I have the worldwide leaders in podcast entertainment here. <laughs> on the number one podcast on the internet. Ow, ow. Have we double checked that? Are we, we're still number one, right? Yeah, we're still number Oops. one. Oops. All right. Uh, Caleb, hello. Hey. Mark, you look refreshed. You're back from your, uh, from your uh, trip. All of those things are true. Got a nice bronze going. Yeah. Got a nice bronze. Actually, didn't go anywhere. I just... Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no! Oh, my God! <laughs> Almost a joke. <laughs> what? That is great timing. Dude. I wish this was a video podcast because the I almost confusion in my eyes when that happened I was like, where is that coming from? I yeah. almost spit Gatorade That's, that's everywhere. the thing we didn't tell you about. Yeah, I didn't so. tell Mark about the uh, the sound effects that we have going now. Hit him with another. What other ones? <laughs> God damn it. We have tons. We have, we, we, <laughs> we have a bunch. Don't worry. We have a bunch. We're just morning radio now. We, we just felt, I just felt like that we needed uh, to. Ira and the douche. <laughs> I just felt that we needed to integrate some new things into the uh, yeah, spice podcast. It up. So, I just okay. figured this is the right direction for the podcast. Cool. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I actually agree with it. Okay, great. That was funny. Cool. Great. Uh, and oh uh, good old miserable Chris, you're back. Yeah, I'm here. Very good. We got the uh, gang here. We have a lot of news to talk about and um, <laughs> things to discuss. Um, Mark. Why don't you uh, take it from here and uh, tell us about the uh, Death Wish news? I can do that. You, uh, you actually do have a piece of paper today. Yeah, I do. I'm shuffling it yeah, like John Stewart. Shuffle? Yeah, shuffle it, scribble on it a little bit. Uh, so we have a few things we could talk about uh, for Death Wish news. Uh, since the last podcast, we announced the new Cult Leader album called Lightless Walk, which is going to be available on CDLP and cassette. That's coming out on... Excellent. Absolutely excellent. I think I quit. I think I quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Um, it's even worse when you don't know what's coming. Okay, so Lightless Walk is going to be out on October. I'm like walking on eggshells. <laughs> I have no idea when it's coming. It's going to be out on October 16th, and the vinyl is going to be coming at a later date. Uh, there's a new song called Suffer Louder that'll be on decibelmagazine.com by the time you hear this. Um, we also announced a new 7-inch, it's a split 7-inch between two bands, Lies and White Jazz. Lies yeah! has... <laughs> Lies has members of <laughs> The Hope Conspiracy and White Jazz has members uh, from Rise and Fall. Uh, so that's going to be out on October 30th, October which 30th. I do deem pretty damn spooky. That's the day before the spookiest <laughs> day really of the spooky. year. Really Real spooky. spooky. Um, do you have like a ghost sound effect or something? Uh, I'm looking. I don't think I have anything oh, like wow. that. That's um, okay. Uh, the, that's probably the timing the best. would be off anyways. <laughs> that's a spooky oh, laugh. man. That's... Okay. Anyways, uh, here's a reminder that um, we've already talked about this in the podcast before, but the Loma Prieta self-portrait pre-order i mean shit the loma prieta (laughs) self-portrait album will be coming out on october 2nd and the vinyl will be coming out on uh november 13th so Uh, when when does that pre-order go up mark this friday am i allowed to say that oh wow mark you're just dropping it'll it'll be up when this comes out that's an exclusive um yeah maybe yeah if you're listening to this podcast maybe you should like jump on the internet at midnight yeah and see what's going on things are happening yeah yeah and what else we got, Mark? And uh, just speaking of Loma, you should go listen to their new song, Love, from the album, because it's really good. Um, and the last thing we can talk about is uh, we are currently looking for interns for the fall semester here at Death Wish. So uh, there's a link we're going to post in the show notes. We'll probably link to the Reddit thing we posted, right? Yeah, I'll yeah. post on the info, but you can email uh, Miserable Chris. Yeah, yeah, Chris. He's running the uh, intern program I this am. semester. It's a, email it's a great program because uh, well, yeah, we've had great new ownership. We've had so. fantastic people come from our internship. Mark, Mark yep. used to be an intern. I used to be an intern. Yep. Uh, um, Mark Zuckerberg, <laughs> uh, well, Bill Gates was an yeah, intern mm-hmm. here. Um, um, Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jamie Josta, Shia LaBeouf. He was an intern Shia here. Shia LaBeouf, just do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, just, just fantastic people. 
Yeah, so very we, successful people. Uh, we'll link to a, a link that'll. We'll link to a link. We'll link to a page that has Barack all, Obama. He was an intern here. Yep, that's right, Barack Obama. He could be the next president. <laughs> if you just so, intern for us. Yeah. And there's going to be a lot of information on requirements and uh, what your duties will be and things like that. So, yeah, we also get did, excited. We also did a little AMA with a former intern. Oh Keith. yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Keith Murray. Was Keith so was good. our shout intern out to Keith. Last all of your fall. all of your questions will be answered. Yeah, and we'll do more AMAs. Everyone liked the AMAs. Yeah, that was so definitely. much fun. So uh, yeah, that's on our Reddit page. You can uh, you can view the uh, AMA that happened there. Uh, there's some good questions there, and yeah, you should apply to be an intern if you're looking for college credit. Um, we've uh, you can learn a lot working about working at an independent label. So yeah, do that. Do that. Uh, we'll put a link in the show notes. Chris, can you put a link in the show notes? Mm, we'll see. All right. Great. <laughs> great. Uh, Mark, is that, it? That, is that it for news today? That's it. That's it. That, that's it for the news. All good. Uh, Mark, you're you're back from vacation. I'm back from vacation, it's good, yeah. It's good to see went, you. Yeah. I went to Maine. Are you, and oh, you went I, to Maine? Yeah, what I went part to Maine? Maine. Wells. Wells. Wells Beach? You go to Wells Beach? Is that, yeah. Rich, isn't that... Is that where they keep the yachts and the jet skis, or no? Am I wrong? Oh, no, 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 no. Those are the... Uh, That's the, in the uh, Cape. The uh, gold-plated uh, canoes are there. Oh. Yep. Yep, just getting sunburnt on a crowded beach. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's what I was doing. So what did you do on... What did you do in Maine? Went to the beach with my family. Yeah. We were like... We stayed at a, a hotel that was like a 15-minute drive from the beach. So. Yeah. What do you uh, typically do at the beach? You just do you just tan? I swim just, a lot. I really love. Do you swimming just flex the, the whole time that you're there? Well, yeah, that goes without saying. But um, no, I don't flex. Um, do you play anything, paddle ball? Don't Frisbee. play paddle ball. I really like playing can jam. You ever played can jam? What is can that? jam? Bro- is sick. my brother forgot? I have no idea what that is. Actually. My brother forgot the cans, so it sucked. But what can jam <laughs> Wait, is? What do you? It's what do you do? Plastic. Um, they're like little buckets, right? And you put them a certain distance apart. And there's a hole at the top, and there's a slit in the front, and you throw frisbees, and you try to get it. You have a team. Uh, you have a team, person your team member is across team member, from you, and then you throw it, and they try to either hit it in the bucket, or you can get it in on your own. Or if you get it in the front slit without anyone touching, you win the whole game. So it's like a different point system. You're just throwing a frisbee in a bucket, pretty much. But it's a really fun game to play at the beach. You know what? It's really it's hard. Let's just wait for this to ride out. It's really it's really good to know that I was explaining an entire game to you, and you were just searching for a sound effect the whole time. Wasn't listening. Didn't at all. hear a word. Oh my god. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> god, Mark's so mad. Here is uh, Rich Rossi 101. You talk to him about things, and he just like drifts actually, onto his phone. I just open I just opened up an app, and it just like started playing shit for no reason. Um... Chris, can you put a link to the show notes? Link in the show notes about Can Jam. Yeah, and then yeah, you can read yeah, it. Can you didn't fucking hear that. a thing I was saying. Wait, you were saying something? <laughs> oh my Shit. god! It's a joke. It's a joke. How um, does Rich have friends? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. What else did you, did you eat? Any good food? Do you really care? Let's yes, just go to the I next do. Thing. <laughs> I want to know what you do. Um, I ate food. I, I went to a couple of restaurants. I ate a lot of ice cream. You were just oh, telling yeah. me you what's had. Your, you what, had. I had a lot of ice cream. What's your favorite flavor? I like Oreo. Oreo. That's my mainstay. I know it's pretty... Coffee Oreo? I haven't tried coffee Oreo. I bet I'd like it. Yeah, that's a really but good one. Coffee Oreo. Oreo is awesome. Shout out to this place called The Scoop Deck. That place was ah, sick. The Scoop Deck? That's a yeah, good name. it's wicked good. It was like a crazy line outside every day, but it was really worth like, it. it. And that was, was in Wells? That was in Wells, yeah. W- was it an actual deck? Uh, no. I guess it was like wood panels or whatever, but yeah, it was, it was cool. They have a lot of flavors. Um... I didn't really. I just went to the beach and stuff, you know. It, it was good. Chocolate yeah, chip it was pancakes, fun. Or yeah. Waffles, chocolate chip French toast, man. <laughs> That's what French I did. toast. French toast. Was it was it as good or better than the place we went to in Philly? No, not as good. Oh yeah, that place is really good. Uh, Caleb, you also went on a little. Uh, went on a little trip. Well, it was two weeks trip, ago yeah. now. But yeah. Oh, was it actually two weeks ago? Yeah, it was a canoe trip, Delaware River. Very cool. Yeah. Delaware River. The Delaware. Is that in Delaware? <laughs> do, do you know Do you know the significance of the Delaware River? I don't. George Washington? No idea. I didn't pay attention to history. Oh. Well, George Washington Carver <laughs> invented peanut butter. Yeah, on that river. Oh, really? No. No. <laughs> I have no idea what you guys... 
Anyway, so yeah, it's cool. <laughs> we uh, we canoe along the river and camp out um, at night along it. What did we do? We did 36 miles. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Got a nice tan. I'm still peeling. Did you get a little wacky while you're there? Got a little wacky. Yeah. Some some of the dudes, I'm just going to, um, no names, but uh, some of the dudes in my party uh, dropped some acid. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, my canoe was the sober canoe in the front. So they dropped you didn't acid. in the acid taking? No, God, no. Um, you too paranoid? I love how you didn't mix up the canoes. Like, all the people who were fucked up just, like, were left <laughs> yeah, to they, get lost. They, they're in their own canoe. <laughs> yeah, no. You couldn't, you couldn't leave, much. like, a sober person didn't in that like a, canoe? Like can, I also, system. can I also make a note that I... They, I go ahead, go ahead. I, I'm sorry. I was just going to say they did their own thing, you know? Up to them. Um, I, I said to Rich, like, when you just got back from your trip or something, he was like, yo, do you hear that people on the trip with Caleb did acid? And Rich so seriously said... Well, yeah, Caleb's like a hippie. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're, you think I'm a hippie? Seriously? Well, you were born in Pennsylvania, right? Hippies aren't born in Pennsylvania. I don't know about that. I don't know why you're saying that. And I, first of all, I wasn't. I was did, I just from- def- did I just did I just offend everyone from Pennsylvania? Probably. Probably. No, I'm not talking about you know, like you know, like right. the uh, the. Uh, are you thinking of Amish people? Yeah, I guess so. Well, Amish people are not hippies. <laughs> no, I know that. I know that. And, and Rich, I'm from New York. <laughs> Wait, you were born in New York? Yes. I thought you were born in Pennsylvania. No, this oh. motherfucker's from the concrete jungle where dreams are made. Of. We we moved around a lot. So oh, I I I, I thought you were born in Pennsylvania. No, no, no. Okay. I lived in Pennsylvania a long time, but no. All right, yeah. Canoe trip was good. They dropped acid and then just stopped paddling, so it took us forever. <laughs> Why? We, what do you mean just stopped paddling? They they were just on acid, just like acid, looking at shit. The acid people were, <laughs> yeah. were just stopped. Were they just floating. They were just floating, like, looking at the water. I was like, Jesus Christ, would you guys paddle? We you need said, to get to camp. You said acid people, hurry up. No, I didn't say anything because we were so far ahead of them. Oh. And, th- <laughs> um, no, um, yeah. Let's leave it, it we'll there. leave it at that. We'll you leave it at that. This, you don't want this uh, accounted for, this uh, trip? Yeah. You don't want any evidence? Yeah, that's all right. Um, that's good. I'm glad you had a good time. Oh, my mom listens to this now. She told me. She did? So she's going to know that. Does your grandma, Fuck. too? <laughs> um, hey, Caleb's mom. I don't know. I told my mom about the podcast, and she has no idea what it is. I mean, they didn't either, but my mom looked it up. She just now figured it out, like, That's last sick. week. Where does she listen on? I have no idea. Like, she YouTube? Lis- oh, she listens to it at work. Oh, That's awesome. I told her, don't do that. That's, this, is, this is not work safe at Caleb, all. Yeah, no. Caleb's mom, you seem uh, you seem really cool. Caleb talks about you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> he loves you very much. Feel free to make us lunches. <laughs> she would. Care yeah, what you want. That would be so sick. <laughs> um, I just want Gowett family cookies. Hey, yeah, you guys got some, some good bakers my, in the family. Y- yeah, my family can cook, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Well, let me tell you. We're all, we're all starving, uh, starving growing boys here so <laughs> feel free to uh make us uh, some delicious Starving cookies growing boys <laughs> you should have had an excellent time with that one <laughs> i'm a little too late for the uh sound effect but you know we'll can just... i be in charge of sound effects absolutely not i, <laughs> I don't know if rich should be in charge i either. definitely shouldn't either I, I i knew that like if i integrated the sound effects to the show that i'd Use them uh, way too much, oh, and they would get annoying al- after a while. They've already been used too oh, much. Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. We're ar- not going to be able to do it next week. Yeah, it's already <laughs> annoying. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how long the sound effects are going to stay for, but we'll have to see. You need to get the the siren. The <laughs> wait, what, you know what I mean? Si- no. Uh, yeah, I can't like do the noise. But I don't even know. I don't even know which one that is. You would if you heard it. You'd know what I meant. Okay. That's the one. <laughs> That's it. That is it. Brandy <laughs> with AAs. Yo, it's Brandy. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Hit, well, it, hit it like a bunch of times. No, 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 no. We wow. have to move on. Well, no, we don't. We don't have to move on. We can talk whatever we want. Yeah, no, exactly. so, so hit it a couple hit, times. Yeah, hit. just a few times. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's that's what we needed. Um, have you guys ever bought a car before? Yes. yes. It's the worst thing in the world, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not buying a car. It was, mine. Uh, actually, no. Mine was easy because I just bought it like used at, like a car lot, and they were like, "Here it is," and I just paid for it, and it was fine. I mean, it's exciting, but it's I don't know. I don't know if it's the worst thing. I've I'm never not, like been to a dealership and had to go through that whole thing. It's just a lot. I've of been a few work. times, but my uh, my fiance is buying a car right now. Fiance. Yeah. Oh what, yeah. Actually, that reminds me. Uh, big announcement. Uh, 
Rich's wedding is going to be Periscoped live via Death Talk. <laughs> Me, Chris, and Caleb are going to be on the side, like just announcing it, like mm-hmm. the play-by-play commentary. We're we're all Rich's best men. Absolutely, yeah, obviously, not. <laughs> none of you guys are invited. Excellent, uh, <laughs> excellent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It was a chainsaw. I know. I don't. That, that made no sense. I thought it was a dirt bike. It was the first thing that I touched. So <laughs> too bad. Um, but we're. Uh, if you like, go online to like get a quote, and you put your phone number in. Oh uh, yeah. Don't ever do that. Asking now. for spam. I had to silence everything. My computer. My phone. My iPad. <laughs> will, will my Apple promise Watch. Me, promise everything. me something right Trying now. Trying to get those sales, you know? Dude, everything's going up. I'm getting phone calls. I'm getting text messages. I'm getting emails. I'm it, getting Periscoped. I'm getting everything. I'm People are hitting me up on Tumblr. Like, I don't even know. Reddit. They're probably going to post a Reddit thread soon about... Um, me, me trying D- to buy a DMing car. DMing you. Like, oh my god! Rich, everything. promise me that right now, if one of them calls while we're recording, you have to answer. Oh, it. of course. Yeah, I'll bring it up. Okay. Wait. Good. So, why are you? Why did you put your number in? Well, guys, I, I was helping. I was trying to like find you know quotes and you know I try to get you. a good price. You know, Shit. and then but you put in your information and they just go wild. They go absolutely nuts. That sucks. They just call you, hound you, but that wow. sucks. I didn't realize that happened. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. So what kind of car is she looking to get? A Stang? Um, uh, it's like the same one you have. Uh, BMW. Uh, uh, oh, is that available series? with the trailer for the yacht on the back? <laughs> God damn it. I can't I even know. buy, like, cereal during the week. <laughs> 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 like, I'm not going on yachts. <laughs> can't buy cereal, but he drives around in a fucking Beamer. <laughs> <laughs> I go get a five dollar coffee in the morning. I literally every step to $5 work. Five dollar coffee? What the hell? I'm are a you badass. Doing? What the You're hell? You're forgetting are you one five dollars. Mark Mocha does Gini. what he wants, dude. Fucking espresso. Sir, sir. Two months ago, I didn't drink coffee. Now I can't live without it. You can't live without it. I love how fast he is. Just Mark like, fucking out balls it. deep in coffee. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna set the record straight. Mark does not have a BMW. He actually has a uh, Ford Focus that never leaves our lot. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. actually never drives it. And uh, sometimes, if you want to come see it, it's here all the time. Yeah, if you just, need uh, to like borrow it, too, yeah, it's, like, it's just, in the lot. If you're not sure which one it is, it only has one hubcap yeah, out of the four wheels. <laughs> And also, look for the basement sticker. <laughs> yep, yeah. the basement sticker That's and the know. exorbitant amount of Coke cans on the floor in the back seat. I miss Silence. Your, I miss your... <laughs> wait, wait, sign. <laughs> I, gotta, wait I, I need it. this ready. I need this ready all the yeah. time because... I miss uh, your old car because it said it had a bumper sticker that said, I'd rather be uh, stage diving. Yeah, it was a... <laughs> that was a Bane bumper sticker. That was cool. That is very cool. <clears throat> um... Uh, yeah, so don't, uh, buying cars is the fucking worst. Don't, don't ever do it. Just keep your car. My air conditioner broke in my car the other day. Yeah, and they couldn't fix it? What? Yeah, I don't Why? know. I have to bring it somewhere else. I don't know. Oh. I just gotta bring it somewhere else. It's expensive sometimes, if, yeah, depending on what it, it is. Out. People don't want to hear about our problems. They want to hear about cool things. I don't, just, I, all right, here's a cool thing. The blowers in my car haven't worked for two years. The blowers. The, the blowers. The blowies. <laughs> <laughs> the only, vents. Only the, the, vents. The, the vents, sure. The, the windshield <laughs> ones. Oh my god! <laughs> you gotta chill. <laughs> <laughs> the windshield ones and the feet oh, ones. The blowers works. don't work in my car. <laughs> the blowers. <laughs> <laughs> the fans. Whatever. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, this is this is gonna be. This is so derailed. <laughs> yeah, All right. people. If, if you haven't tuned out now, yeah. thank you. I don't. I don't know what's You're... going on. But hey, let's talk about actual things now. Yeah, uh, what, what do we got? We'll talk about. Let's do tour time with miserable Chris. Oh, let's okay, let's, uh, let's get this podcast back on track. Can can you do can you do the jingle again? No, because it was great that one time. I don't remember it. I don't Rich, like, you I don't seriously like have it. to put that in. Yeah, that I mean, was incredible. Um. Oh, the one that the one it's that just right, that was a good one. Why can't you didn't, miserable Chris? He doesn't want to do it anymore. Bing. No, I just don't remember it, and I don't want it to be terrible. So we should just use the old one. All right, tour time with miserable Chris. Oh, we're we're closed today. We're not we're not doing tours. It's like the glass shadowing when Stone Cold Stone Cold Steve Austin comes out to the, to the ring. Wait, Rich, were you a wrestling fan? Who wasn't? Are you serious? Yeah, I wasn't. You get, whoa, I you didn't, didn't watch, watch wrestling? It. Yeah, I, I don't have anything like, against it. I, I, I tried it. to get into it and was like, nah, this is lame. Oh, wrestling was awesome. I never yeah. I never watched wrestling and I didn't care about Pokemon. No, I didn't really care about Pokemon, yeah. but I loved wrestling. Yeah, I, li- I liked The Undertaker. That was it. I liked ECW the best. 
I'm lost. I, I, I used to go to all of them. I actually used to. Um, I used to ha- run a website, <laughs> an no, ECW shut website. Up. Yeah. No. Wait, what? Yeah. Is That's it still up? So what was it called? I don't sick. think it's up anymore. No, I'm gonna do the. Time. Can we try to like find it and just maybe give me, we can give me link the name, it? Yeah. But we used to. Um, I used to like get interviews with wrestlers on AIM. Shut up. That yeah. is, did they did it? That's yeah, so they would do cool. It all the time. Like, I, here's the thing. I don't really know if it was really them or not, but they're like, yeah. I'd contact like ECW press, and they'd be like, "Yeah, you can you can do an interview with this How guy." Old? And they don't. They'd always want to do it on AIM. I don't even know why. How old are you? Because it was fake. That's why. But it's um, still so cool. I was probably fourteen. Twenty. No, around there. Oh, 13, 13 that's around awesome. there, but like the first website I ever made was a, a wrestling website, that's and I awesome. used to bootleg. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say this, but like we had a, uh, <laughs> I had a website that would uh, you basically go on there and I would bootleg like pay per views onto VHSs for people, and you so, like, sell them. That's was, pretty sick. There was a giant list of like, uh, it was a giant list of all the pay per views that I had, and I had these because I would go to Blockbuster and rent them and then copy them. Yeah. You know, like, just copy them. Yeah. Make a copy of them. Like, you just get two VCRs together and copy them. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, I used to, so I used to copy them all. Or, or I'd, like, uh, once in a while you'd order one, I'd just record it on the VHS yeah. or whatever. And I'd, like, I'd buy the Japanese ones. Do you guys know about, no? No. no. But if you went explain. to, like, if you went to, like, an ECW event, um, Extreme Championship Wrestling, you guys familiar? I'm with yeah. you. <laughs> Familiar There'd no, be a giant table, and they would... It, it's like, it was like a distro, basically, of all these, like, weird, like, Japanese, like, uh... Like, matches? Yeah, like, like on VHS. Like, matches in Japan? Yeah, and okay. but they were crazy. The ones in Japan were crazy. Like, they would be, like, fire and glass and, like, <laughs> barbed wire. It was, like, absolutely wild. Way, Legos? Way more crazier than <laughs> the ones in the U.S., but I used to buy those, then I'd copy them, and... Anyways, I had this. I had this uh, website. It would list them all, and basically, you get like an eight-hour tape. And I'd say, like, all right, I can fit like two or three events on a tape, basically, and then order them and whatever. Uh, Did you ever make? You made some money off this. So the funny thing is, uh, yeah. So the, the way you paid was you'd email me, tell me what you want. I email you back. I say, all right, that's going to cost you ten bucks or whatever. And people would send you like money orders and checks. Oh my so like, God. my mom, my mom was like. Why are we getting all like? What are all these things coming in the mail? I'd get these checks and money orders and stuff, and I was like, "Oh, it's my business." Are you selling drugs? <laughs> and I was selling uh, bootleg uh, videotapes. So I did it with a couple of my friends. Oh my! That's God. Uh, really cool, actually. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> sick. And I mean, I wasn't making like a million dollars or anything, but you know, it. That's it, funny. She see funny. checks come in and be like, "What the hell is going on?" The and, fact uh, that anyone ordered at all is. I was completely surprised too. Well, I had the wrestling website, and the wrestling website was doing pretty well. Like it got okay, you know, hits and things like that. And uh, and uh, I guess I just kind of linked it to from there, and that's how that happened. Wow. So yeah, I've always been a I've, I've always been a, a hustler. I'm cr- I'm like really surprised this never came up until yeah, now. This is yeah, like, I, 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 I didn't, didn't even know like you liked t- wrestling. Oh, I love wrestling. Yeah, as a kid. Yeah, actually, funny story. Um, Jake and Trey are older than me but when i was a kid like we'd uh, they, like they'd be at the same some of the same events oh really but like i was like younger and they were a little bit older than me so but like we i obviously didn't know them but there was a place in waltham that had ecw events and yeah i think i talked to jake about it once he said like he was he, he's been to them so oh that's funny so yeah so Small world we were there together obviously didn't know each other at the time but uh i thought that was pretty cool that's wild um yeah so uh how Big wrestling get, fan. How did we get here? I have no I mean, idea. It's a good place. It's oh, I talked about Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, that's and cool. uh, tour time with Miserable. I hate that you drag out your words because you're finding it. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll just wait. I'll just tour wait. time with yeah. Miserable Chris. All right, that, that was good. the one. That was the last one. That's real one. good. That's where it's not funny anymore. All right, I'm cut off. I'm cut off. I'm moving, the, I'm moving the soundboard away from me. Chris, tell us about the tours. Okay. We have a couple of announcements. Uh, Harm's Way will be playing this year's Heart Fest on September 4th in Quebec, Canada, uh, with uh, Cruel Hand, Cotton Crowd, a bunch of other bands. Uh, Blacklisted will be heading out to California uh, to play two shows with Bold on September 5th and 6th. Uh, also, Self Defense Family's Australian tour kicks off uh, the last week of August, so definitely go out to those shows if you live in that area. And, Down uh, under, yeah. Under. <laughs> go see, uh, go see Self Defense. Yeah, 
So, uh, yeah, that about wraps it up. Uh, for more tour info and updates, please visit <clears throat> deathwishinc.com slash tours. There was an Australian lady who came up to the table at This Is Hardcore and was saying how she wanted to see Self-Defense Family tour Australia. Well, Oh, really? There well, you go. There you go. You, you there ask you go, and you Australian shall receive. At This Is Hardcore, you can now see Self-Defense Family at This Is Hardcore. I mean, no, at Aust- in Australia. In Australia. Sorry, I just need to... It's very hot in here. Yeah. It's, yep. getting, it's getting a little sweaty. A little bit spicy. We should have brought down some some headbands. Ooh, well, we can't turn... Chill, the, chill, it sucks because we can't turn the air conditioner on here right now because... Yeah, the mics are very sensitive. They'll pick it up. <laughs> should have brought a we'll freeze be... pop down here. <gasps> oh, shit. Sure. I forgot we had those. Yeah, they're almost gone. All the shitty flavors are left. Oh, fuck. That's all right. Well, guys, I'm grabbing my phone, but it's not for the sound effects. I, right, need, right. I need the notes. Trust right I don't, now. Trust. Yeah, I don't trust you, but... <laughs> I think it's time... I think you know what time it is. It is time for Film School with Rich, starring myself <laughs> and Caleb. Hey, hey. Uh, this week, Caleb, I watched The uh, the Warriors, um, mm-hmm. and I heard that this week's Film School with Rich is brought to you by Caleb and the Death Wish store. <laughs> yeah. Caleb. You're right. You heard right. What can the kids get with your super so the, special so this, coupon code? This week, I figured we'd you know we'd switch it up a little bit. Um, you know, offer ten percent off the whole store. So just use the coupon code <laughs> Furies, F U R I E S, and that's a reference to the uh, the one of the gangs. Oh, dude, you nailed it! You watched that movie, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I did. I did. Let's talk about it. All right, who else? Uh, Mark, Chris, have you guys seen the Warriors? I have not seen it. I think uh, I, I think Mark is actually ago. worse than me. I don't think he's seen any of these movies. Yeah, but he actively watches movies. Do you think we should do a film school with Mark one week? I make Mark I watch mean, a movie. We, we could. I'm gonna be honest and say that uh, most, way more than half of the movies we've done, I haven't seen. Okay, before. so I think maybe. Well, you have. I'm gonna watch it anyways too. But um, I think for next week, I think over the next episode. No. No. Maybe the one after that. No, okay, so this was, the, uh, you don't have to say it yet, but you have a special yeah, yeah. one lined up for yeah, me? Yeah, Okay, something. maybe the next time. That's actually, that's a shame, because next week is going to be my last episode. Mark. I'm bowing out. Stop it. He's, don't, don't lie to us. He's in this for life. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's got nothing Forever. else to do. All right, let's talk about The Warriors. Let's talk about it. The What'd Warriors is a movie from 1979. Um, yeah. Uh, little, little backstory, it's a, you know... It's about a bunch of gangs. Um, <laughs> little backstory. Bunch of, I mean, little, bunch of gangs. A little, little bit more than that. But. Yeah, they, uh, they're, they're doing bad things. They're uh, getting in fights. And, uh, okay, okay. No, you're, you're, you're off. Okay, so there's like, there's like one main oh, gang. Oh, I'm sorry. There was no we, gangs. They did not get into fights. Don't, don't worry about it. No, you're, you're, just, you're painting such broad strokes. I know. I'm just giving a little bit of a back, back basically, story here. Basically, this one dude calls all the gangs into a meeting to unite everybody. All Correct. The, all I the was gangs, just about to get to So that. they could take over New York. Something goes wrong, and then the warriors are blamed for it, and they have to escape. Right. Right. And get back home, and all right. these gangs are in the same spot looking for them. So, right off the bat, uh, this this movie had a good intro. I liked the intro. You liked that? Good. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, some, of the, cool. some movies have bad intros. Yeah. And a um, lot of movies just, like, don't even have intros anymore. Or, so. like, the intro's kind of incorporated with the story. I kind of yeah. like that. I like that. Yeah, it's really cool where they're, where they're, like, given all the exposition with, like, the little... But this one had a good intro. They, what was the one that had, like, a terrible intro? Uh, I forget that I was complaining about. Probably Fargo. No, I didn't mind Fargo's intro. Um, but whatever, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, so I started watching this, and I'm just like, "What the hell is going on?" And like, is this? Am I gonna see like a flash mob like breakout from like? Kinda. This was odd. You know what I mean? Do you, you know what a flash mob is, right? Yeah, like a, I, I thought they might break it break out to like a dance routine. <laughs> it's not step up. I it's it's just the like, warriors do. I know what is going on. Um, step up. <laughs> but this was odd, Caleb. Odd. How's how so? This was no. Oh, it was it was it was different. It was different. It was, yeah, it's de- yeah. It's definitely so. All the gangs were like color coordinated. And, yes. You know. Well, okay. So right off the bat, what was your favorite game? Oh, the baseball furies. Okay, no, that's the, that's it. the fan favorite. I th- I was thinking about this. A- aside from the furies, because everybody fix- picks the furies, and aside from the warriors, I gotta go with the mimes. 
the game. Oh, yeah, Because oh, yeah, that yeah. takes balls. <laughs> yeah. You're going to walk around New York dressed as a mime. What was the game Plus that was kind of like, creepy. I don't know if they actually talked about this. What was the game that was in, like, the purple spandex? They didn't say anything about it. They were just there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that was. I was thinking of it. I was, was wondering. Like, what the hell is going on with these guys? Yeah, I was wondering uh, the same thing. Uh, but, yeah, no, they were cool. They were cool. Uh, the, the, uh. I just lost my train of thought. But the uh, the Warriors were cool. I liked the Warriors. They were they were kind they were like kinda badass, but not really. Yeah. The fighting was really funny in the movie. Yeah, it's it's very staged, but it's, it's still almost, cool. I don't I don't know. It's this movie's just cool. Yeah, what what can you give me anything? Like what what is this? Is this like a, is this based on a book? Is this an original script? Like what's going on with the Warriors, do you know? I don't think this is based off anything okay. as far as I know. The original script then? Yeah. Um, I could be wrong, but it's just such a it's such an odd movie it's it's not really though it's pretty i don't know it's oh, pretty don't, short and sweet pretty you don't simple. Think, i know i know it's like simple concept but like you know you don't think um a bunch of gangs uh doing things and have being color coordinated and like being more like that okay, dance so troops that's, than like actual gangs okay are like, now i'm with you now i see what you mean by you don't odd. think that's yes. weird yes the gangs are definitely very like flamboyant and weird they're not like super like badass like yeah, they, tough guy yeah, games yeah, you know yeah. they're they're pretty quirky like weird yeah. yeah which i don't know which i think is awesome i think it, it's really charming. it was definitely interesting it must have been kind of like people must have been like holy shit like what the hell is going on here yeah uh but um overall i guess i'll tell you this right now i really enjoyed the movie i liked it a lot awesome i'm glad I liked it a lot this is one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, I, I I put in my notes the uh, the Furies were one of my favorites. Very cool, and they just get um, their asses kicked yeah. immediately. Um, let me tell you about the uh, the men in this movie were uh, they were very um, um, homophobic, sexist. Yeah, I mean that, that there was some questionable. Yeah, I forgot about there that. There was some questionable uh, um, yeah. things said in in, in the movie. Uh, time, Def- definitely time and a place, obviously. Yeah, definitely of its time. Uh, but um, they were. Just like the sight of a woman would be like just threw, threw them all off. They I were know. just like, "All right, we gotta stop. What we're doing. I gotta go hit on this this, I know, this girl insane. right now." It's like it's so like creepy. It's like they just couldn't contain themselves. I know they were just very uh, ready to go, just yeah. ready to go at it. Yeah, because um, like anything, they just see like the girl just sitting on the bench. Yeah, I know. We're, we're like, this is obviously a trap of some sort. Yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't. I wasn't suspecting too much the um, kind of the gang of of women that uh, brought oh, them yeah, into the. I yeah. didn't I'd suspect that too much, but it, like once once they got in there, like okay, something's gonna happen. Here. Yeah, I, um, that scene's awesome. It's badass. Very good scene. I like the bathroom fight scene. Yep. Oh, and also, I just wanted to point out. Did you notice anything about the bathroom scene? They have roller skates. Yes. Uh, so you were you were right. See, okay, somebody. I see, and I wanted. I just want to give props, Rich Greenhagen. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right, Rich. Uh, at I'm so last summer on Twitter. Pointed yeah, that well, I out. think I saw I that. Just wanted, yeah. I wanted to give him props. Yep. He, he called it out. So I was right. I you know. What? I think I've seen that scene before. Like maybe it was on TV or something. Yeah, you probably I was have. Like, what the hell? It's a cool one. Um, my favorite part. My, 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 my favorite scene in, in the well, not scene, but just like small part in the movie was when um, there's like there's a cop coming coming after uh, one of the warriors. Mm-hmm. And he just throws the baseball bat at his the shins. Legs, and he does a huge <laughs> flip. Yeah, yeah. That was so cool. It was so, so over the top. Yeah. Awesome. But it was so funny. It was so funny. Um, so your favorite part isn't the... the warriors. Ping, ping, warriors. Come, come out and play. I'm pretty sure I've done that at work and everyone was like, what are you doing? Shut up. <laughs> you absolutely have. I had no idea what the fuck Damn that it. was. Well, there you they go. actually... Um, you guys don't watch sports, do you? I watch all the sports. What were you going to say? Uh, <laughs> there was actually a... Uh, there's like there's a team, the Golden State Warriors, mm. that they play that. They play that. They play awesome. that. Yeah, it, it was in the. Oh, I heard so it cool. during the playoffs. That's uh, cool. Um, another another little thing while you're searching for whatever you're searching there. Did you reckon you know the radio the DJ, like the close up the lips? Yes. Did you recognize that at all? From no, anything? I can't tell you. I have. Oh, okay, so you didn't remember in Pulp Fiction? No. Mark has no idea what this is. This guy was a freaking freak. I know. How strung out is he in the opening scene? He looks like he's on heroin. Or well, something. he gets what's coming to him. Oh yeah. 
So spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> also, I love it when like a gang of people, whatever, like take down one person, and it's so obvious that like the person's just crouching and they're not hitting them because like people are just like, I'm making a gesture you can't see, but. They're just like elbowing straight down into <laughs> nothing. It's so awk. It's like so gawky, but it's Wait, really so funny. what were you about to say about the lady on the radio? Oh, oh. Um, in Pulp Fiction, Quentin Tarantino um, did like a little call out to the Warriors where he had like that similar thing. Oh, I don't uh, remember I think that. when, remember uh, when Uma Thurman um, invites John Travolta back to the house afterward, or invites him to the house to pick her up and she's going over like the speaker system? Yes. It has the close up. Of her at the mic. Yes. It's the same exact shot. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay, that was cool. I wasn't sure it, maybe it, it, it would look familiar to you or not, but... No, uh, I didn't, I, I didn't, it didn't... Because it was just a call back to a movie we, we watched. Also, another movie that looks really good still. So cool, right? Yeah, I, I'm I'm very surprised of Got how... Do, I guess they do HD remakes of these things. Yeah, and, it's probably some sort of... Um, but the film just holds up. It still looks looks like a good movie. Like, yeah, it looks it great. Looks, it's got there's that... some movies, though, like... There's some movies from, like, the 80s that don't look as, like, good. Yeah. Um, this has that grimy New York feel. It's like, still... Yeah, it still like, looks really good. Yeah, it's got, like, the same feel as, like, Taxi Driver. Except not as real. Excuse yeah, me. yeah. I'm surprised that... I'm just surprised how good... You know, because you, you watch, like, old television shows, and they're in mm-hmm. the boxes. Yeah. So, like, they're in, like, the the square yeah. boxes. And I think that's a big part of it. Like too. a show I'm watching right now. Oh, yeah? Oh, you're watching a show now? Twin Peaks. We'll talk about that yeah, later. we'll get to it. We'll yeah, get yeah, there. Yeah, we'll yeah, get yeah, there. Yeah. Come on. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's... I don't, I don't want to say it, does, it doesn't ruin the show or anything, but, you know, it's, it'd be nice to have a widescreen version. And these movies all are, so... Yeah. Uh... That is really good, but yeah, overall, Warriors, great pick. Caleb. Awesome, I'm glad you like it. Caleb, you got another, got another one right. Woo woo. Um, uh, what do you got coming coming to me? All right, so next. Oh, one. sorry. Before we move on, uh, uh, director on this movie. Are you familiar? Uh, I you... forget his name. Okay. Honestly, I don't think he's done. I can look it up real quick while we're talking about something. Ah, uh, no but... big deal. No big deal. I was just uh, I didn't know if you had any. Usually have like a little fun fact to share about with us. The director. Yeah. No, I. I... I guess I didn't. Pre- My fun fact was the Tarantino okay. homage. There right. you go. I don't right. have much prepared for. The I always like the. Uh, just, uh, yeah. Did you just watch it too this week? Yeah, I rewatched it because I I assigned it to you because I felt like watching it. Again. Oh, okay, all right, all right. But, so um, what do we? What do we? What's coming up next? Well, first let's mention you've been watching Twin Peaks. Well, I want to say that all on your own. Can we save that for what we're into? No. Oh, really? You want to watch this now? Yes. I mean, we want to talk about this now. We're talking about it now. Yeah. Um. I I started uh, Twin Peaks. What, po- what like possessed it? you to start Twin Peaks? All right, who's seen it? Chris? Twin I haven't Peaks seen TV it, no. show? Mark? I've seen the first episode. You never watched it after that? I, like, forgot. I, I, I liked it. I just... But you Sam, just Sam and I watched it, like, a month ago, and then I honestly forgot about it until right now. Mark, you have to continue watching the show. I like the first episode. It's You like it? The first episode's wicked long. It's like a movie. It's, two, it's an hour and a half long. Yeah, it's the pilot, was, so I don't really know if that, that had to do with it. That was crazy. I was like, this is nuts. It's one of the oddest, coolest things I've I've watched ever. Cool. I know they're making like new shit, right? The, um... Yeah, I think they're doing... like They're starting in September, actually. Yeah. The, uh, the show is just so weird. But it something just keeps me like wanting to to keep watching it. It's one season, right? Or two. There are two seasons, I believe, and the movie, yep. and a movie. Oh yeah. And then they're going to be doing another season of it. Apparently, any? Do you know if there's any original actors in the? I think it's I, the main I, dude, right? Yeah, I think it. I think it's everybody, but don't quote me. I haven't been paying attention. Yeah, well, because I just don't believe it's. I still don't believe it's going to actually happen, but you know, yeah. we'll see. Yeah, Meg was like, oh, let's watch this show. I've heard something about it. And I was like, that's so weird because someone... Was it someone on Twitter or someone on yeah, Reddit told me, yeah. told me like, you should watch Twin yeah, Peaks? Yeah, people have been... And like, I thought about Twin Peaks, but it, it's TV. And it's... it's This segment would get so stale if we did a TV show every week. Yeah. The be, same one, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I've been watching that. I've watched four episodes now. And you watched, like, three last night. Yeah, I watched. Yeah, I watched the first this episode. Is absolutely insane. To I me. watched the first episode. and I was like, "Oh, this is really good." Then we started watching another episode last night, and I was like, "We just kept going. Like, couldn't stop. It's just fantastic." Hey, I'm. You're making me very happy, but I, I can't. I still can't. You believe actually you said like you it. don't like this. show. I don't like the show. No, but I never in a million years would really? guess that you would like this. What What do you dislike about the show? I. Okay. I. I mean, I don't want to get going on this, but um, I just. 
it's so confusing. I don't understand the tone. Like, yeah, because it's confusing as True Detective. <laughs> true, but um, no, this is confusing in a different way. And I get that it's supposed to be confusing and weird, but it's like, like the biggest thing is like, is does he give his? Don't spoil anything for me yet, because I'm only. Uh, yeah, no, no, I'm trying. I'm trying to tiptoe around stuff, but it, like, it's like, does he give his actors direction? Like, okay. Do this, but like, do it really bad. Yeah, or does it, he get bad actors? Like, I is don't it understand. Unintentionally funny, or exactly. is it intentionally bad? I don't really know. I, I don't but understand. Whatever it, if he's, whatever it, whatever it's doing, it has a sort of. Uh, oh, it's a big yeah. It's a big deal. People like it. I like I like his movies. I don't. Twin Peaks is I yeah. I have, very, I have to watch Mulholland Drive, huh? That, that that'll be on the list at some point. That is on the list, but okay. I, I for next week I'm going to make you watch Blue Velvet. Blue Velvet, okay. Yes. Mulholland Drive is my personal favorite, but you're going to watch Blue Velvet. Now, why are you giving me Blue Velvet over Mulholland Drive? Because I think Blue Velvet will have... Isn't Mulholland... It'll be a little bit more of an interesting... Isn't Mulholland Drive probably the more popular of the two? It's close between... I think Blue Velvet's more of a critical... Um, is more of the critical... Thinking? Fan. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know Very what I'm trying to claimed. say. Yeah, maybe... I'm probably... Okay. Off base about this. Right. I just think Blue Velvet will be a more interesting conversation. All right. I like Mulholland Drive a little bit better. And there's also Wild at Heart and Eraserhead. Jeez. Eraserhead's probably his most well known. But we're not gonna watch Eraserhead. Sorry. I don't even know what Eraserhead is. Is that, is that you the... do? You definitely do. Wait, is that the is that the cover that has like the the needles in his head? Not needles, but he's got like the pencil haircut. Oh no, I'm thinking. Of... What's the movie Hell where like well, Hell... you're thinking of Hellraiser? Hellraiser. Oh, Hellraiser. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of Twin Peaks, did you know that? Um, and this is not something I get because I haven't watched the show, but apparently you might get it because uh, the latest Tiger Shaw record has like references throughout the whole album to Twin Peaks. Oh, I had no clue. Charmer. Hmm. Yeah. I read a bunch of reviews when it came out, and it said like a bunch of people talked about how there's a lot of references in it. So oh no shit. Maybe you'll pick up on some stuff. There we go. Supposedly, I look a lot like Agent Cooper. Is that the main dude? Yeah. I don't get that. I Sorry. Don't, I, no, I don't see that at all. I love him. You guys have seen Portlandia? He's the mayor in yes. Portlandia? You look more like uh, Sloth. Great. Cool. <laughs> no, Caleb looks more like... Uh, <laughs> Caleb looks more like a young George Clooney. Oh, stop it. Oh, Marco. You know me so well. Yeah, George Clooney that got acid poured on his face. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> oh my god! If there was any time for the sound effect of that, <laughs> holy no. shit! Let's, let's talk about what Rich looks like. <laughs> Acid pour on his face. <laughs> That's so rough. I'm sorry, Kelly. You know I'm just joking. He loves your face, man. Yeah, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> it really is getting I'm hot. Drenched. Um, okay, so I'm going to watch Blue Velvet next week on the, Blue Velvet. Because, for the next podcast. Because you've shown interest in Twin Peaks. I put Blue Velvet and Mulholland Drive on the list, but I was like, yeah, we're probably never going to get to those. So I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm gonna, I'll, probably fin- I'll probably finish up uh, Twin Peaks before the end of the week here. You're, yeah, we'll talk about it more once you finish it up. You're that far in? Well, there's only eight episodes of the first season. Oh, sure, okay. So. And, there's only th- and there's only two seasons. I, yeah, you probably won't like the second seat. Well, I don't want to say probably because I obviously don't know. We'll see. You don't know. You don't know me. Second season jumps the shark. Uh oh! Don't spoil I'm anything. Don't spoil anything. All right. I love. I love that saying. Jump the shark. Yeah. Fonzie jumps the, the shark. All right. Well, that's uh, that is film school with Rich. Film school with Rich is brought to you by Caleb and the Death Wish Store. Caleb, just repeat that coupon code. Furies, F-U-R-I-E-S. Use that code, get 10% 80% off. 80% your... off. No, ten, just 10%. Actually, scratch that. Coupon code is Acid Face. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee like 20 more people use it than you yeah. have used before. <laughs> I'm going to have to make one. I'll, I'll make both. You, it's, you pick. We'll see. I'll make both, and then we'll see who uses <laughs> what, and then I'll add up the numbers We'll get back to you next week, Rich. We'll see who's the fucking acid face. <laughs> <laughs> right. I like how, like, whoever, like, how does that prove anything? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it just sounds like extra work. Shut up. <laughs> All right, well, uh, it's time for your questions and feedback. As always, you can use the use the hashtag AskDeathTalk on Twitter. You can email us, deathtalk at deathwishing.com. Or you can use the most popular method of... Uh, 
interacting with the show, you can call the Death Talk hotline. I'm Mark. I'm the uh, sound effects guy, so uh, please don't do that again. Uh, Call Death Talk hotline at 754-70-DETALK. That is 754-703-8255. Leave your name, where you're from, and a brief message, and uh, we'll play it on the show. Just like this message from Simon from Florida. Hey, it's Simon from Florida again, and I wanted to know if you guys were gonna have a bundle for the Loma album, like the T-shirt, or just like with all the with all like the different color variations for the album. And that was it. Cool. Thanks. Later, guys. Yes, bundle, 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 bundle. Die cut, die cut, die cut. Bundle. <laughs> Caleb's gonna set that up. Yeah, there'll be some. There'll be some good bundles. We got. A, we actually got a real cool bundle for it. Really? Yeah. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Okay. Oh, you'll, oh, you'll see. You'll see. How many shirt designs do we have? A lot? Eight. We'll eight see. bundles. It's like 47. Oh, cool. Whole front page. Actually, then we're, gonna, we're actually doing a design your own shirt. Just just draw on the website and you can just make your own shirt. You just get like a... That's a million dollar a, idea. A white shirt and a bucket of markers. Yeah, yeah. Ship yeah. it to them. <laughs> yeah, now there'll be some bundles. Class of 2015. <laughs> okay. How All about... Right. Uh, Ooh, <laughs> moving that on. That sucks. Oh. Rich doing the okay. I'm not laughing because he does that to me, and I know how it hurts. Uh, I don't. I'm not hurting. I don't care. That was uh, wow. that was uh, not that good, Caleb. Wow, whatever. You're still looking for a sound effect, so you're bummer. you're not that good either. <laughs> what was not that? The... Is a bummer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that wasn't. A... How many sound effects are in this thing? Oh, there's just tons of uh, tons you, of sound. Did effects. you pay for this app? <laughs> no, God, no. Okay, you, <laughs> yes, you would. I know you. Yes, would. he did. Three ninety nine. No, no way. Uh, here's one from uh, Nolan. From Pennsylvania. He has nice things to say about Caleb, so I don't like this person already. Yo, Death Talk. This is Nolan from Pennsylvania. First of all, Caleb is the real hero of the show. What? Second of all, what do I do if my girlfriend can't handle how metal I am? <laughs> and thirdly, when are you going to get the uh, Death Wish web belts back in stock? Nobody at work knows how metal I am without them. Thanks. You know, I, I just want to say, best call we've got so far. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Nolan. Um, I think it was cool. Uh, so, was the second question, what do well, you do if well, you... Well, first, he wants to know, uh, what do I what do I do if my girlfriend can't handle all metal art? I am. Well, you obviously dump her. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you the get answer's a girlfriend. obvious. That's... Do, right, no, so you do. What, what's his name again? Why don't, you send Nolan. This, why don't you send this question over to the self-defense family at Tumblr? They'll be able to help you out with that. <laughs> Nolan... Dude, true we love is true love, man. Just we, hang in there. We don't give uh, we don't give uh, uh, relationship advice over here. We, I think we should start though. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're so qualified. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Know. My my girlfriend doesn't really like the same. My fiance doesn't really like the same music that I do. We like some of the same things, but um, yellow card. I don't like yellow card. No, she likes yellow card though. We, you know what? She actually got me into Saves the Day. I never listened to Saves the Day before I met her. Like ten years ago, so there it is. Yeah, she's a big fan. So yeah, just listen to saves the day. I guess. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 not metal, not metal enough. Yeah, yeah. Mark, your uh, girlfriend only listens to grindcore, right? That is true. <laughs> yeah, only. I would it's love a real to see pain. Sam listening grindcore to grindcore. Grind. I, was, I, fuck, I was just gonna say you beat me to it. Gore grind. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yeah, the, I mean, the one I that know. got away, I don't know, man, the do you, girlfriend you know that what? listened it's exclusively either, to Gore Grind, either, it's just dump, tough, either you know, dump her it's just... or deal with it, you can't do anything about it, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, dump her or deal with it, yeah, I mean, what else are you gonna can do, can Rich start a, can you be a game show host, dump her or deal <laughs> with it, yeah, yeah, and as far as the web belt goes, <laughs> Caleb, do we have more web belts coming, are you gonna order those soon, I'm not sure what he means by web belt, like the, the Death Wish like, belt, belts. Like the belts. Web belts. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I thought I thought it was the uh, the Doom. Do you want to put together like, a, an order for those soon? Yeah. Just right. Just for my boy. Go on the uh, store and sign up for the wait list, and you'll know when we get it back. Make them just for you, because we want everyone at work. By the yeah. way, where do you work? But, where do you work that you need to show off your metalness? Yeah. But with before a belt? that, dump your girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> Consider all your options before ruining this girl's month. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> she couldn't handle it. Uh, and this is John again from New Jersey calling back. This is, a, this, this is our first repeat caller. Yeah, actually, I think Simon has called there before. Yes, he and, said so. it's me. Again. Yes, yeah, Simon. yeah, yeah. So this and, is our second repeat caller. How about that? Well, John, John's asked a few questions. Here's John from New Jersey. Hey guys, it's John again from New Jersey. 
Uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to Caleb and Mark for chilling out with me at the This Is Hardcore Fest. I had a blast, and thanks so much for the free vinyl. You guys were great. My question for you guys is, if you had a signature sandwich, and this is for everyone, what would the toppings be? Talk to you later. Signature sandwiches, guys. All right, should we make each other sandwiches? Oh, yes, we should. Because that would be real bad. Rich is obviously acid. <laughs> yeah, weed. <laughs> Just weed on the on the uh, on the. That uh, dang dang. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like. You know what? I always go with. Um, I always go with some sort of wheat, maybe a roll or or bread. I'm I'm a wheat kind of guy. Okay, did we not just agree that we're gonna make other people's sandwiches? No, yes. but I'm. He you can't, asked, you he can't ask, make your own sandwich. Well, we have hi. to guess. Uh, okay, that's. I think that's someone here. I think that's someone stealing Mark's car outside the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly a wonder it's not stolen. Yet. <laughs> but they're having trouble starting it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what, what are you talking about? We're gonna make. So you want me to tell you? You want like, me to I'm guess? Gonna, I'm gonna you say want me to guess what Mark's favorite sandwich is? Or something no, like it's that? not. It's not a favorite sandwich. It's the signature sandwich. Like what sandwich encompasses you as a person? Oh, okay. I'm gonna make Rich's sandwich right now. All right, here we go. Let's see. We're gonna get triangular cuts of <laughs> thick pepperoni. I um I don't, I don't go no it doesn't matter if you like it or not this I is just on the menu <laughs> this I, I is what eat. you you're eating. let him finish I don't eat meat so how, what? Oh, my God. oh this is about me this it's is a about? signature sandwich like oh, okay if, if what Rich don't you this... understand have you have you never seen a signature sandwich at a sub shop before I see I see your mean sorry right. I didn't get All the right. question I thought he said like I thought he said like he I don't think this is what our... he meant sorry John oh, okay. but we're gonna we're gonna do this we can do both with it let's run with it Mark okay go ahead go ahead Mark. All right, so we're going to have giant triangular cut chunks of pepperoni. Um, What's aged, that supposed to... Aged goat cheese. Um, pieces of, f- no, just full boiled hot dogs. And a pita bread pocket that's um, microwaved. What is this supposed <laughs> to signify? I don't know. You're just a mess and gross. <laughs> I don't well, know. <laughs> well, I'm gonna. I'll, edit all that out. I'll make. I'll make Mark's sandwich. It will be an ice cream sandwich because he's a child. Oh, <laughs> holy, holy shit! shit. Wow. Yes. Keep it coming. It's okay. <laughs> Rich is just throwing daggers. <laughs> but seriously, you love ice cream sandwiches, right? I do. I yeah. love them <laughs> <laughs> with a side of chocolate milk. Uh, Chris's Chris's would be like the most miserable sandwich ever. Just be like. It'd be like peanut butter lettuce. lettuce. Yeah, his, uh, his is lettuce, moldy no, cheese. No, his is burnt. <laughs> no, no, his is burnt toast with a thin layer of peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right. Are we actually? Gonna, I really want to talk about. Okay, it. just go ahead. Jesus, go ahead. Because I love talking about myself on yeah, this podcast. Yeah, we, we notice <laughs> when you look at when you, when I'm editing the podcast and I'm looking at the wave forms um, in Logic. It's like ninety percent me talking on the on the podcast. I just don't shut up. Can we change the title to Death Talk with Rich Rossi? Yeah. <laughs> and Friends. <laughs> and friends. <laughs> no, we're not friends. Wait, yeah, you think we're friends? Back up. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going with a wheat, either roll or um, or, or bread. What, what are you shaking your head for? Because you have to do that marble rye. Come on. Okay, I'm going lettuce, tomato, onion, cheese. I'll, I'll do like a, an American cheese or maybe like a cheddar. I don't know what kind of cheese. I like. I don't know. American cheese is good in a sandwich, right? Yeah, it's good. It's your sandwich, though. So. I mean, All right, I'm that's what you that. like. And then uh, a honey mustard, uh, uh, some sort of dressing. And then, like, I, you know, what? you ever go to Subway? I'm just like throw everything on there. <laughs> Wrap it up in pepperoni. <laughs> we don't support Subway anymore, by the way. So, my bad. Fuck that guy. Oh right. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I was like, why? And then I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jared's a piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck that guy. I knew it all along. I can't get sued for like that, right? That's... I have no idea. Okay. Fuck Jared. Uh, <laughs> Caleb. PB and J. Boom. Oh, fuck. It's so boring. Yeah. Yeah, you're always coming in. Eggplant, dude. Eggplant parm from Super Oh, there we go. You there, love that's that my shit. sandwich. Yo, I had, a, I had a roasted eggplant sandwich it's with so zucchini and like uh Zucchini. Fried and fried <laughs> onions or something on it. It was fucking banging. Yeah. Eggplant's awesome. Zucchini's really good. This is a this is a long winded question. I like a I like a meatball sub, classic meatball sub. There you go. And there's Chris. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Look, he takes his phone off for a fucking sound effect. Mm-hmm. 
I'll we wait. just know what you're I'll doing wait. now. No, no, no. Go ahead, Chris. Go ahead, Chris. It's all you. Okay. Uh, I think uh, like a fried eggplant sandwich with Ooh. barbecue sauce. Mm. It's fucking delicious. Oh, come on! <laughs> God damn Wait, wait. Everybody? Okay. Okay. <laughs> nice try, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's weird you say barbecue sauce because that's how you say barbecue sauce. But I always say BBQ sauce sometimes, and it's not <laughs> right. One time I ordered like barbecue mac and cheese at a barbecue restaurant in Worcester, and I said BBQ mac and cheese, and the waitress laughed at me. <laughs> oh my Damn god! It. Get me out of here! <laughs> Shit! Uh, oh my the- god! Oh god! All right, thank you, uh, thank you, John, for that. Thanks, John. Place. You roll. Uh, all right, let's go to Twitter. Let's go to Twitter. People are using the uh, Ask Death Talk hashtag. Uh, people actually listen to the show. I can't believe it. Um, this is from Nolan James Corbin. At what are you whispering? You know the microphone can hear that. Is that the same Nolan? Did he email in Twitter and call? Oh, I don't know. It probably is. Cool. I didn't realize that. I didn't even. T- the, I but mean, I think the call he just said Nolan. I don't know if he Nolan, gave yo, the last if this name. Is, if this is a tweet as well, this could be Nolan Ryan. It, Let's it, keep going. I feel like it is because I have no idea what he's talking about in this. So, um, number one, this is what he says. This is at Nolan in the mist says number one, acquire prepackaged spicy udon. Is that how you say it? Uh, two, follow directions on the packaging. Three, throw it out the window because fuck soup. Is this a reference to Mark's love of soup? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, remember we asked people to to tweet at us with their favorite summer soups. Oh. It all makes sense now. Oh. oh. You did say that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Was this Mark or you? Well, I, I asked people to tweet. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Hell yeah. Mark, people don't like soup. How do you feel about that? Yeah, it's summer. I don't eat soup in the summer. You said I mean, you did last week. To go, I, I'm i okay with it, but I'm not going to like eat a lot of soup in the summer. I'm not like excited for soup. Actually, you know, to go along with the joke, soup is great in the summer. Great. Wow, Mark. Thanks, Nolan. Wow. Wow. Um, this is from... We oh. agree with you, Nolan. How is that supposed to be good? Mark. Oh, my God. Do you hear this silence? Yeah. It's deafening. Now I have to fill it up with something. <laughs> Next question. All right. Um, uh, this one's from Rich Greenhagen. What's up, Rich? That's the that is uh oh the this same guy Rich this who... the Twin Peaks guy right? Yeah. No, the no. roller blade roller skate roller skate guy. guy roller skate guy. Okay, and this is from um, I'm so at I'm so last summer. Uh, that's a. Is that a Taking Back Sunday reference? I thought so. Um, bes- <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, besides Converge, Code Orange, and now Cult Leader, is there a reason why Death Wish bands don't really come to Kansas City on tour? I that C- Caleb. <laughs> He Caleb is always playing with something, and it's like I, I ask him every time, "Don't fucking play with shit," because it gets picked up in the microphone, and we sound like a bunch of assholes. I mean, like that shit is so embarrassing. The uh, sounds that are uh, coming out of oh my, of this Caleb. is bad. You're just str- like stretching the words out to find sound effects. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways, you said converge code orange cult leader. That's yeah. Like- don't really care. Uh, oh, you know what? I honestly... It's yeah. because only the bands that start with C go to Kansas City. Yeah. But Kansas City starts with a K. No, no, no. It's... I didn't say that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> honestly, no offense. I just think it's uh, it's more so it's just like, uh, well, how many people are going to show up to the show? Is it worth it to drive? You know, I mean, there's a lot of things that happen. Are you saying that Kansas City is a you, wasteland yeah, where no one to goes to shows? No, not at all. I'm, I think Kansas City's great. I've never been there. Have you guys, anyone ever been to Kansas City before? No. no. I've never been there. Uh, but... KC. It's no, I don't think it's anything like, oh, we're not, fuck Kansas City. We're never going there. I think it's just like, you know, it's, it's a, is there a venue available that day? Is it, does it fit into the tour? You know, a lot, of, fa- a lot of factors. I don't know. I don't book tours. I have to probably have to ask someone that actually does that sort of thing, but, um, I'm sure there's a lot of factors that go into it, you know? Um, yep. for a while, for a while, a lot of places skip Boston. Really? Yeah, that was a thing. Yeah, we didn't, I mean, when up, was until, that? up until like a few, like a few years ago, like when the Middle East and Sinclair, Sinclair and I'm trying to think of like some Royale. other, 
Royale started doing shows. Yeah, like I forgot. And until Bowery kind of yeah. moved in and like did a lot of stuff for uh, shows right there. It was like if you weren't big enough to play the House of Blues. Exactly. You just there wouldn't be a show in Boston, or it'd either be like coming to Worcester, baby. Yeah, it'd go to Worcester <laughs> or Rhode Island sometimes, or maybe they just wouldn't even drive like because it's uh, Boston's a little bit out of way for yeah. a tour. You know, a lot of tours are. I remember seeing a lot of shows between like a three four year period at club hell in providence you oh, ever yeah. go there yeah yeah it's closed now but that place is awesome but when i was like i don't know when i was going to shows like there would be a show in boston then there'd be one in rhode island and there'd even be one in worcester in the same weekend yeah it wasn't a big deal you know what i mean yeah. i don't know if that just because like more people were going to shows then or whatever or you make a weekend out of it sometimes like your favorite band would come around and We'd say, like, all right, yeah, I'm going to the Boston show. Yep, I'm going to go to the Rhode Island show, and I'm going to go to the... the you just go to the show every night, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I did that was, when the body came through with Thou. Yeah, yeah, so um, now it's like, I don't know if there's just less people going to shows. I'm not really sure. I don't think that's the case, but yeah, I don't know. maybe it is. But uh, I just know, like, before the internet, you know, I don't want to say before the internet, but the internet was around when I was a kid, obviously, but it wasn't as, uh, you know, it wasn't as easy to upload a video on youtube and you can see a show like you know yeah. right after or you know it gets seen on periscope as it's happening you know sure uh you know it's um it was more of like a social event you know that too you know you obviously you want to go see your band your favorite band but you would want to go see your friends and that's just where all your friends would be anyway so you know you're gonna go to the show regardless even sometimes regardless of who's playing because you just want to, maybe you don't like the band that's playing that night, but you just want to go to see your friends and hang out with your friends. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I couldn't tell you. We'd have to, we'd have to call in. We'd have to call uh, someone that's a booking agent to find out. Not a bad idea. <laughs> I'll have to, I'll have to do some, do some research on that. But uh, thanks for everyone for uh, sending in uh, feedback and and uh, great questions. This really week. good questions. Keep them coming. We love, uh, we love when you're. A part of the show. So uh, use the hashtag AskDeathTalk on Twitter. Email DeathTalk at DeathWishing.com. Or give us a call, 754-708255, and you can be a part of the show. Uh, Chris, you're going to put all that in the show notes, right? No. Okay, they won't be in the show notes. You can just find it somewhere. You no, they'll be there. Google it. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. Google it. What if uh, all the show notes are just Google it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You want show notes? Google it. Um <laughs> What we're into, it's time for that part of the show. Caleb. Me first. What Caleb, am I in- you're starting. What am I into this week? Let me tell you. I'm in... New Chelsea Wolf came out. That's cool. Oh, into that. Yeah, I think I like it more than Pain is Beauty. Still hasn't topped Apocalypsis, though. Okay. Yeah. That's your that's your pick of the week? Yeah, I'll go with that. All that's right. That's what I'm into. Very cool. Um, Mark, what are you into? Lounging? Um, lounging? Yeah. Uh, no. You um, you're, you're, you're lounging right now. Just just kicking it. I tend to lounge. Okay. Um, I listened to a lot of Lake Street Dive the last weekend. Uh, I've put them on the Death Wish playlist and stuff before. I listened to them borderline too much. But I'm going to see them for the first time like next week. So I'm getting hyped. Oh, I saw that. They're playing... Uh, are they playing around here? Lol. They're playing in uh, Maine as well. Oh, they already did. Yeah. Are oh, they Port- going? No. Oh, they already did. Yeah. They played oh, okay. a fest in like Portland. Yeah. Oh, okay. I saw that randomly somewhere. Yeah, I knew a few yeah. people went to that, but very cool. They're playing like outside in Lowell. I'm very excited. Very cool. Finally, gonna come come into touch with the love of my life. <laughs> he Mark loves the singer. It's true. Rachel, what's up? If you, if you listen, <laughs> Rach, I have a girlfriend, so nothing can happen. <laughs> but but uh, in yeah. my dreams, feel free to write a song about Mark. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Uh, That'd be great. Chris, what do you got for us? I'm totally in the doghouse. Uh, swimming D&D. in pools. Oh. Yeah. Swimming pools? Yeah, because I don't have a pool, so like whenever I swim yeah. in a pool, it's pretty cool. You seem like someone that pees in the pool. I mean, it's chlor- chlorine, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you do. You're a, po- you're a pool peer. No, I don't pee in the pool. Well, he but... gets cold and, you know. Gotta warm himself up. I bet Mark does. Mark doesn't give a fuck. Dude, the ocean, aka world's biggest toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you pee in the ocean? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Dude. He pops out that little mushroom and just goes <laughs> at it. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, you fucked up. That was the best time for a sound effect. No. Oh, sorry, it's too late. It's, I gotta be ready for these sound effects. Little I just, mushroom. I just, <laughs> big mushroom. He pops out that big mushroom. <laughs>
Hey, uh, Mrs. Gallet, your son's talking about <laughs> my uh, crotch roll area. <laughs> oh, man. Aren't you proud? <laughs> I. She said she listened. She's probably just fucking with Did me. you, Mark, when you were at the beach this weekend, did you pee in the ocean? No. There was a bathroom really close. Yeah. So you would just get out of the ocean and he yeah. dug, he dug a trench. If I'm in a pinch, like, I would. But I'm not, like, against it. In a pinch. If I'm, like, in a pinch, there's <laughs> not a bathroom. No, it's, you're. Honestly, what, it's, one of, the reasons, would you it's one of the reasons I don't go to the beach. Really? I just it's feel not like near a bathroom? I haven't been to a beach, and um, let's 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 keep this real. Uh, we all live uh, very close to a beach. We actually work like very close like to a beach. Like two blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I haven't been to an actual beach, I'm going to say, in over ten years. Get out of here. Oh, shit. Don't give a fuck. Guess what? I hate the beach. Death Wish staff beach trip is next week. I fucking week. hate the beach. Next it's, week you're going. I hate fun. It's we'll dirty, there. and it's and it's... Why would I go to the beach when I can just, like, load my GameCube, hop in Animal Crossing, and go to the beach there? <laughs> oh, my God. You idiot. I would never bring a GameCube to the beach. <laughs> I've been to the beach, I counted, 13 bring my separate 3DS. times just this summer. It's the most times I've been to the beach my whole yeah, life. Yeah, I, I don't do beaches. That's okay. It's not for everyone. I also want to just... But I like the movie Beaches, starring Bette Midler. <laughs> I don't know that one. He also really loves The Beach, starring Le- Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't know that one either, but I know beaches. What's Chris into? Chris already said Wait, beaches. Yeah. Sorry, I was no, just trying to change off pools. it. Swimming no, pools. He doesn't like the beach either. He likes pool. Then no, rich. I, I mean, you know, I just no one ever asks if I want to go to the beach, Mark. So, yeah. yeah. I asked him one time. Do you go to like a Do you go to like a public pool or do you go to like a friend's? No, pool? like friends' pools. I just yeah, Mark's, I don't actually have friends. I just uh, use the Mark for, for the pool. pool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have an indoor pool. It's actually a roof yeah. pool. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, it's his private pool. Oh, um, right, right, right. The indoor indoor pool. Yeah, so. Actually, I know what I'm into. I, I, I listened to some a few new podcasts this week. That are oh, you already said what you were into. So. I know, but you I... You're going, that's fine. You put me on the spot and I didn't know. The <laughs> Canon and uh, Screen Junkies movie fights. They're good. Oh. It's all about movies. Very cool. Mark's checked out. He's like, I'm fucking done with this podcast. It's so hot in here. I, I know. I feel like I'm I dripping. Well, I'm. Uh, we already talked about this earlier, but I'm. I'm very much in, much into uh, Twin Peaks. Amazing. And soft serve ice cream is big this week too. <laughs> nah, you, get, you get that twist. Yeah, that's yeah, so good. Yeah. Do you get the blue goo? Blue goo. I, I never got the blue goo. I know. We got it, and it was so good. I'm a little. Uh, I'm. I guess I'm a little plain, but I'll just do like a vanilla with a chocolate sprinkle. Um, that's classic. But. If they if they have a, a soft serve coffee ice cream, oh yeah, definitely going. Does with that, that exist? Yes. Oh, ye- yep. Oh geez. It's delicious. Oh geez. I want that. That's what I want right now. That would make him Chris less is, miserable. Chris is creeping me out right now, dude. It's he's like so looking hot at me. Just, like, it's so hot in here. I'm about to pass out. It's hot. It's hot. Dude, he's got ice cream on the brain. Look at those eyes. I do. Sorry, I had to take a sip of water. I'm. Uh, oh, it's okay. No one. I'm, it's all right. I'm dehydrating right now. I feel weird about the soft serve. A lot of flavors. Yeah, because they kind of. Um, it's just like a syrup that they put in. You yeah, know? they do. Right. It's like not really like coming the, from the guy who just eats shit with all weird syrups in it all day. But I still feel weird about it. Yeah, you're you're fucking. You're always like eating delicious treats. I guess I don't know. You have a sweet tooth. Yes, I do have a sweet tooth. Baja Blast. That can't be good for you. Hey, is your mom going to do another YouTube video soon? Yeah, they're trying to do one soon. Do you follow the Facebook page? They uploaded a, a little tidbit this week. Yeah, actually, we were at a restaurant. My my, <laughs> my brother filmed my mom, and she was like, this is a nice little spot. And it, <laughs> <laughs> Sean was like, it already got like 400 views. I'm legitimately a, a fan. Good. Yeah, cool. She's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. They're trying to yeah. find somewhere else to do it in Worcester, but... Um, well, that's about it for the podcast. We're 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 uh, sweating. We're gonna have to change our clothes because we just sweat through all of them. Um, yep. Caleb's just he's he's just packing on the pit stains as, as usual. <laughs> oh my God. More more than the pits, let me tell you. <laughs> Is that a callback to like the first episode? Yeah, yeah. there we go. Oh fuck off! All right. Caleb can Caleb um for some reason just has uncontrollable <laughs> sweat glands. I run hot. <laughs> I was just I was just telling these two. I you know what? I sleep directly in front of my AC. Just, my AC blows on me all night. I've been waking up in the middle of the night sweating every night this week. Just pull a uh, just pull another uh, plain black T-shirt out of the pack from Target, and you'll be good to go. I might have to. 
You guys are all rip, <laughs> ripping my style anyway. All right, well, um, that's about it. Death Talk 24 is over. Um, uh, let me know if you want to continue uh, to hear the uh, sound effects on the show, or if you just want this to be like <laughs> uh, a one and out sort of thing. I think we're um, done. I think we're done with the sound effects. I'm yeah. pretty sure the people don't want to... Uh, don't want to uh, hear I the sound hate effects. it, but I kind of love it at the same time. <laughs> well, well, uh, uh, that's about it. Um, again, thank you for listening. Uh, if you're listening on YouTube, please uh, give us a thumbs up or uh, or uh, subscribe to the channel or do both. That'd be awesome. Uh, and if you uh, subscribe to us on iTunes, please leave us a rating. It would be very helpful. Um, give us five stars. Yeah. Tell them, tell tell the world how much you love me. I mean, hey, um, we're we're in the top spot already, but we we do have to maintain it. We do have to maintain. Right? So, like, leave right. a rating, please. Right. I think NPR is coming up on our tails, but they're they're trying. I mean, it's cute. It's cute that they're trying. But they don't have this. <laughs> Damn it. So uh, <laughs> that's it. Uh, that's it for uh, Death Talk. Um, thanks for listening, and uh, have a uh, fantastic rest of your day.